Hi, this is Newt with a minute of medicine for your mind. You know, back in the day, my teens and my 20s, man, I thought my parents were the most horrible people on the face of the planet. I felt like they were always in my business trying to tell me what to do, what more, where to spend my money, who I should hang with. They just didn't get me. And what they were asking me to do, I felt like applied to their times back in their day and not in my day. So I gravitated more towards my friends, you know, because my friends, you know, we, they got me. We got along. They didn't fight me, didn't, you know, push me in one direction or another. We could talk about my philosophy philosophies and ideas of life and they understood you know but as time went on my friends or who I thought were my friends divided into two groups actually some were enemies and some were friends now that I'm much older although I realize my parents were not perfect I understand how much knowledge understanding and wisdom they actually did have and always do have so what am I trying to say today? It's real simple, see? Your friends will always accept your weaknesses. They're not gonna push you in one direction or another. They're gonna make you feel comfortable so you can stay right where you are. Your enemies, on the other hand, are going to expose your weaknesses for their own gains, usually by dismantling or, or devaluing you in some way so they can get something out of it. But a mentor, he doesn't really care about your feelings or you being comfortable. They're gonna challenge you and push you so you can grow and move from where you are to another spot. They don't want anything from you, any of your resources or influence or anything. All they're concerned with is challenging you so you can remove your weaknesses. Now the question you need to ask yourself is, in this season in your life, who has your ear? This is Newt with a minute of medicine for your mind.